It's a disease that affects millions nationwide, and here in Alaska, nearly 52,000 people are diagnosed with it. Type 2 diabetes. That number is growing, and the Center for Disease Control estimates by the year 2050, nearly one in three Americans could have the disease. Whitney Miller joins us tonight with part two of A Day in the Life of Diabetes. Whitney. Thanks, Megan. Tonight we bring you a story of a woman recently diagnosed with type 2 diabetes and the struggle it takes getting the, the, getting the disease under control. Finding out meant she was in for some changes that she wasn't quite sure she was ready to handle. You have the mindset of, oh, that can never happen to me, that's not going to happen to me. And it did. For Melanie Long, getting diagnosed with diabetes more than a year ago meant her life would change. She's dealt with the disease before in her family and even provided care for her late husband. I lived with it in the home, I cooked for him, I took care of him. Type 2 diabetes is where the pancreas is working but the insulin's not. So they're resistant to the action of insulin. Instead of giving up, Melanie took control. She began regulating her glucose levels with medication and diet. I dropped like 15 pounds in three months. It was three months of small changes, counting carbs and increasing her vegetable intake. When they say eating healthy, they always say fruits and vegetables, but then you realize when you're diabetic that fruit has sugar. So you still have to watch that. Melanie says scheduling regular meals has help bring okay. down her hemoglobin A1C, a three-month blood sugar average. Attacking her diet wasn't the only change. Instead of jumping into a hardcore workout at the gym, Melanie chooses to take baby steps. For example, when she goes shopping, she parks far from the store, so she's forced to walk more. Education is key when you've been diagnosed and how long you has been diagnosed with diabetes. The counseling Melanie receives at the Anchorage Neighborhood Health Center helps her cope. She's full of life, more self-esteem. She, she has that motivation to continue going. So just seeing her, it just makes my job worthwhile. And we have a pancreas. Melanie believes the classes are key for continued learning. I really wanted to become a diabetes educator just to help them out to prevent all these complications that can be avoided just by educating them. I involve them, I make them explore, I make them talk. And she counsels hundreds of people newly diagnosed to the disease every year. Some get in there and understanding the process that it's not a temporary fix, is a lifestyle. They now and get there overnight. You know, but eventually they get in there. For Melanie, living and controlling her type 2 diabetes is a step she takes day by day. Learn as much as you can and uh, don't beat yourself up. You know, you're human and just take it one day at a time. Education and implementing those life changes slowly is key. Over time, it will help your blood sugar levels return to normal. Melanie's goal is to control her diabetes with diet and exercise so she can eliminate using medication. What are some of the symptoms of type 2, Winnie? Well, Megan, depending on how high your blood sugars are, you may or may not recognize any of the symptoms, which include increased thirst, hunger, fatigue, increased urination, blurred vision, or even tingling in your feet. Join us next Wednesday as we look into the dangerous complications that can occur if your diabetes goes untreated. All right. Thank you, Whitney.